stressed that's not not the call we needed just before uh, setting off to London. Oh, uh, it's just going to make it a bit more difficult than it already was going to be. And finding out whilst you're packing your suitcase to set off to London is not ideal. <laughs> really. This is Chris Bradley. One year ago, he moved back in with his parents in North Wales so that he could focus on his business, Public Aid. <laughs> He's now ready to head to London to do what it takes to get Public Aid off the ground. Over the next four months, we'll be following him to capture the ups, the downs, and the blood, sweat, and tears of launching a business. Public Aid makes it easy to collect, organise, and share any kind of content from anywhere. So you can share and showcase your passions, interests and things that inspire you, whatever the content, wherever they're from, in one place. Living in Taiwan and adapting to their culture and their lifestyle, I did work weekends and I did work late days. Fitting into public aid and having my own business, it just meant that instead of having to work that hard for someone else, I could now work that hard and harder for myself. The start of the journey is the fact that I am going to be sleeping on sofas and the whole business is going to be run out of my suitcase. Rich content here and also be a, a bit of an unfolding story. We really want to kind of convey business learnings yeah. across the entire series and being there for kind of the ups, the downs, the sweat, the blood and, uh, and the tears. Yeah, I guess there's, there's going to be a, a sort of figure in mind. What, what is the figure that would make that happen? We're basically looking for another 10k slot. <laughs> I remember the conversation where you said you were thinking of uh, starting your own business. Very difficult. Did you lose some sleep over it? Uh, lots of sleep. Is that where some of the grey hairs come from? That's where most of the grey hairs come from, Chris. <laughs> you really need to get that right, Chris. When it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, you're just going to switch them off. Six o'clock in the morning till twelve o'clock at night, and he might surface for meals. No pain, no gain. You're doing the right thing, Chris. The plan is <laughs> is hustle, sofas, friends, anybody that will have me, scrounging, begging, stealing. No, no, not stealing. Borrowing. Being a startup, being scrappy, doing what I need to do to get the business out there. You're gonna miss me. I'm trying to get my suitcase. We've got 15 minutes. Otherwise, we're gonna miss the train. To make it big in the city. Hmm. I know what the end goal is, and that's to get investment and to make the business work. I don't know how I'm going to get there. So all those bits that you don't actually know about until you get there and fail and learn, those are all the bits that we've still got to go. So the ideal outcome for me after four months is to have received another round of investment, to have an office and to expand the team.